It's been a pretty brutal day for the semiconductor market. We can see AMD, as I am recording, is down roughly 4.8%, and Nvidia right now is down roughly 4.9%. These are two of my favorite semiconductor companies. And I want to say, in the short term, it does seem like there's a lot of kind of headwinds affecting the stocks with numerous kind of macroeconomics events. But I do want to say, in the upcoming days, I'm super excited about what's to come for the semiconductor industry, as we are going to learn a lot about some new products hitting the shelves pretty soon. And these products products are for a lot of companies, not just Nvidia, but also AMD and even Intel. I know, I know that's your favorite semiconductor company. Don't worry, I'm gonna share some pretty cool information today. So let's get started. I do wanna thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video and make sure to check out fool.com slash Jose to get the top 10 stocks to buy right now. So for those not familiar, Nvidia today on August 19th mentioned that they are going to be at a virtual hot chips event which is an annual gathering of processors and system architects. And this is a pretty cool conference that I'm super excited. I'm going to be watching it next week. And there's we're going to see a lot of cool products lined up and a lot of cool discussions. But NVIDIA themselves will disclose performance numbers and other technical details for NVIDIA's first server CPU, the Hopper GPU, and the latest version of their NV Switch Internet Connect design. So NVIDIA in the next few days is going to announce a lot and a lot of great products. For those not familiar, NVIDIA doesn't just make GPUs right now, right? Because of their acquisition through Mellanox, they also provide on-node switches. Remember, NVIDIA is kind of releasing the Hopper GPU pretty soon, so we're going to get some pretty cool data in there. And for those not familiar, NVIDIA is also going to be releasing their first CPU ever for data center solutions, Grace. And Grace is going to have numerous super chips where you can have a CPU and a GPU in one chip or two kind of CPUs kind of glued together. Uh, and you can see they're kind of solutions. And this is what really excites me about NVIDIA is they have not just the hardware, but also kind of this infrastructure solution as well. For example, here in the data centers, they have different solutions for cloud and graphics, for digital twins and Omniverse, for high performance computing, even for AI training in fearings and high performance computing. And all these kind of solutions either come with a Grace CPU super chip, some form of accelerator from NVIDIA being a GPU being their Bluefield or their A16, and then some other form of interconnect that also goes there. So we can see NVIDIA is definitely a huge, huge leader in the semiconductor market. And if you are enjoying the video so far, make sure to hit the thumbs up as it does help me grow my overall audience and it really helps out the channel a lot. If you want to support a little bit more, make sure to subscribe using my link at fool.com slash Jose. For those not familiar, NVIDIA is expected to release their first ever data center CPU in the first half of 2023. We are going to get a little bit more update on this in their earnings call later this week. So that's something to be super excited. Remember, we do have competitions from the likes of AMD's data center solutions and also Intel's data center solutions, which are all expected to be released around the same time. I do believe Grace is going to be the last one to come out, but they're all going to be coming out within a six, seven month time frame. So it is going to be pretty interesting to see how the market reacts to Grace CPU. Like I mentioned, I do believe we are going to get a lot more information when they do report earnings this upcoming week. So I mentioned, right, there is this pretty cool conference happening and that is hot chips unfortunately it is a paid conference but a lot of the cool information is going to be on monday august 22nd there are going to be a talks a lot about the gpu market nvidia is going to talk about their hopper gpu amd is going to talk about the mi200 which is their gpu for the data center market intel is also going to be talking about ponte vecchio gpu which is their upcoming gpu for the kind of data center market and then we also have other companies maybe not public that will be discussing so if you want to learn a little bit more it definitely seems pretty cool if not i'm definitely going to be watching the conference and share the information that i find out again this conference more technical it's not going to be like the business aspect of things but i do believe as investors especially especially someone like myself, who's really big into the semiconductor industry. I like to learn a little bit more about the technicality behind there outside of just like the business side. Uh, so they're also going to talk about things like FPGAs, like memory issues and other kind of data center solutions around in the world right now and different types of companies that are dealing in that market. Now, conference day number two is also going to deal with some pretty cool stuff. For example, Tesla is going to be talking about machine learning with their dojo kind of exascale supercomputer. We are also going to learn about networking switches from AMD, NVIDIA, and others, and a little bit more about system on chips and CPUs for the driver market and just the mobile and desktop market from AMD, 
nvidia and intel so again i do think this conference is going to be pretty interesting if one likes the technical aspect of the semiconductor so i'm definitely going to have a lot of fun with it i'm going to be watching and sharing all the information so take care have a good day and see you next time